It's definitely the strongest fish I've caught since I howled it. Can we stop filming him so we can film me real quick? No, bro, I got a monster. <laughs> it's gonna be like a <laughs> an actual lizard time. fish. Oh, the camera. Here, time. Oh, nice, nice fish, dude. Rob. Nice, bro. Good. My name's Robert Field, and I ditched the corporate grind to pursue my passions for fishing and travel. This time, I'm in Alaska with the boys from Fish Village to find out just what makes the final frontier so legendary. Fish on! Oh, yeah! You're watching Field Trips with Robert Field. This place is ridiculous. What are they doing down here? Look at this. You guys, this is not geo right here. Look at this. Look at this. Epic. Yeah, this is wild. They're like seagulls. Oh, here comes another golden. That can rip your face off. I don't. I think those I are juvenile. I think those are juvenile um, bald eagles. Yeah. Got about a dozen bald eagles here fighting over these scraps. Gonna clean this place up for it. Yep. Nothing gets wasted in Alaska. Absolutely insane, man. Just crazy how everything's relative. These bald eagles, they feel like seagulls or pigeons at this point. They're just everywhere. There is no shortage of bald eagles here in Alaska. Right here in our front yard getting a show pretty much every morning. So these here, the kind of mottled and brown ones, these are juvenile bald eagles. It's not until uh, they become adults and mature that they kind of grow this white plumage on their head and tail. Plumage, listen to me. Ned. All right guys, so it's day two. Just had a little show put on for us by the resident bald eagles, about 20 or 30 of them. It's absolutely crazy, this place. Things that, uh, you know, I think many would put on their bucket list here. It's just like commonplace. All the, you know, Rich and Jeff that, that live here, they're like, yeah, bald eagles. There's only 20 this morning. <laughs> But now, doing something different today. We wore out the salmon yesterday. Killer day chasing those fish, so much fun. Now we are heading um, out of the narrows into a little more open water, out into the sound. We're gonna be bottom jigging for halibut, rockfish, uh, you name it, black cod. Uh, they got a chance at some other fish, but uh, a halibut is what I'm really looking for. So we shall see if it's in the cards today. These giant jellyfish are everywhere. They do not look friendly. We head out through the maze-like waterways that carve through the mountains that are jutting straight out of the sea. They call this place the Wrangell Narrows, and as we dodge icebergs that have broken off from the surrounding glaciers, our vessel begins to feel very small. If we were to hit one, our hull would almost certainly be punctured, and falling in this water would reduce our lifespan to minutes. Our first advice to Jeff, if trips are gonna work here, is that he needs a bigger boat. Humpback right there, dude, just came up. I got three o'clock, four o'clock. Look at that. We got humpbacks cruising inside the Frederickstown. Look at that. Beautiful animal. Hump again. Boom, there's the hump. Like kinda... yeah, boom, there's the hump. There's... And so look, just one consideration about the boat, since smaller boat, not everybody in the back, we'll just kind of work it out. Yeah, um, spread out. So I got poles in here. Not rigged, but completed a little bit more. And one will have to. Rain drops falling on my head. So we just got to the first fishing spot, about 25 miles from the lodge. Beautiful conditions, really. A little bit of spitting rain, but uh, target species here are, are what? What all could we catch here, Jeff? Halibut is the deal. Halibut is the deal. That's what I'm here for, so good news. Halibut is the deal, he says. So we're gonna be dropping down to the bottom, kind of jigging off the bottom. We'll show you guys the rigs here in a sec. It's beautiful out here, though. Just epic. So hoping to see some orcas on the way here. Didn't see any orcas, but they saw some yesterday. They are out here, they are around. And uh, that's probably the wildlife encounter I would enjoy the most, but we'll see. In the meantime, let's find some fish. We saw some icebergs on the way. 
beautiful blue crazy colors to them it's super hard ice some of it's million year old ice these glaciers have been here forever and they break off of that nick said he's gonna ride one water temps about 49 degrees 48 degrees um it's kind of one of those two minutes swimming in that and you're in some serious trouble so falling out of the boat today would be a bad idea but we're gonna rig up and get on some fish so to give you guys an idea of the kind of stuff they're using they've got kind of you know metal jigs jig this up off the bottom for these halibut they are a bottom fish very similar to flounder but they get much much bigger this is a super heavy jig i've never seen anything like this man that shape big hooks Some kind of squid imitations looks like an octopus pretty serious hook yeah, yeah. I like it. You know what size hook it is? Uh, it's like nine odd. 16. 16 odd. Woo, going for the big boys. How much weight do you think we'll use here in 140 feet? A couple, probably a couple pounds. A couple pounds. So this is a herring. The boys caught these. They're really easy to catch. They say they use some beaky rigs. Catch these herring. So pretty fresh. And we're putting this one on kind of like a, a tandem rig. With a little skirt, kind of like that. And this is attached to this spreader bar. It's got a heavy weight. So we've got this weight at the bottom, sitting like that. This spreader bar keeps the line, you know, about two feet up off the bottom. And in the current, these things are just kind of dancing and waving like they're kind of swimming against the current, holding still. So that's the rig. We can drop these down, just kind of slow drift them over this hump that uh, Jeff just pointed out to us as we were coming over it. Really nice hump. We're about 75 feet of water right now. Gonna drift in a little deeper, so we'll give it a shot. Just getting everything rigged up, then we're gonna run up uh, to the other side. We're drifting uh, differently than we thought we were going to. We'll reset the drift and start fishing. Got a little rain, a little spit of rain. Alaska's kind of been spitting on us since we got here, so what are you gonna do? Can't control the weather. All right, guys, so we uh, got this kind of double herring tandem rig bounced on the bottom, just doing a slow drift. Uh, we're kind of going over this hump that uh, Jeff here knew about. You know, there's kind of flat, sandy bottom on either side of this hump, so over the hump we could get other stuff, but halibut will be kind of be right before to right after it. But yeah, these predators, they lay on the bottom, blend in with the sand, they're trying to ambush this, these prey coming by. So we got it just right up off the bottom at about 120 feet. No. I can't tell if I'm just dragging on weird bottom all of a sudden. I think I was just hitting different bottoms, just all of a sudden it started. Fish on. Feels decent. Yeah, first hook up here in Alaska out in the on the boat. Put up a good fight. Oh. Nice Rob. Like when he wants to go, he's going. I'm not stopping him. So I have a few 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 different taps. I was like, I think I think I got something. And he was like, no, you'll you'll know it. And uh, when this guy hit, I, I, I knew it. <laughs> there was no mistaking it. This is the best trip no, that's ever Oh, that's look at that. Oh, See that run, bro? That is sick, bro. Fire oh, yeah. You like that? Feet oh, right? yeah. It right, looks decent. Pretty, pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just watch the camera. Yep. It's okay. That, that one's fine. Oh, decent, right? <laughs> nice one. No, not, not 50, but still. No, no, yeah. but decent nice halibut, nice, dude. 20, Robert! 20 pounds. Yeah, bro! Yeah. First Pacific back. halibut. There it is. Oh my gosh, what a fish, bro. Hey, I got a whacker right behind you. Yep, yep. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Hey, watch the watch. Watch the... Oh, no. Uh, I'm a good rag, you know? Oh, there you go. There you go. Okay. Right. Stop it, man. It doesn't owe you money. <laughs> hey, you gotta say mother. I don't want to lose it, man. My first Pacific yeah, halibut. We're out here in Alaska. It's raining. It's beautiful. And there it is. What? Ten minutes into the fishing? Yeah, Ten yep. minutes. First halibut. Yeah. 
beautiful fish. Dude, strong, man. I thought it was going to be bigger than that. Dude, that is a blast. Check that out. All right. We'll let Jeff get out of the rain. <laughs> Dude, yeah, bro. That was awesome, man. Kelp dripping everywhere. Nick's getting a little, a little tappy tappy. <laughs> Just kidding, man. It was with me for the first first 10 minutes I was driving it I was I kept exactly, being like there's... now that I'm this halibut bro you know you just, yeah. what you want to do is you yeah. want to bounce it every once in a resume. while let me help you out yeah yeah, yeah. I, I dropped it down I'd let it bounce a few times then I tried to keep it off the bottom for a good like five minutes let the dust settle there you are there you are there it is you on? yeah he's on yeah Nick nice dude Right on cue. <laughs> Sitting here, uh, see, I was giving you tips. Look what happened. I know. Thank Look you, what Robert. happened. Thank you, Robert Field of Yakfish TV. Field halibut guide trips coming soon. <laughs> oh, you want to go into the boat, do ya? Nice. Look at this epic setting you're cranking all this fish in right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a good fish. Looking, it looks like fish. it's like getting bigger. He's yeah. like, he knows his hook now. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Woo. There it is. Color. Color? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's solid one. Look at this spreader. I can just get a little target. Get back in the water. Hey, when you take your head out of the water. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Nice. Watch that, Rob. Watch that. Yeah. Got it. All right, nice, boys. Bro. Nice. Uh, Holly. I'll give you some. Uh, give you some love. Nice yeah, one, man. bro. Nice fish. See, giving you pointers, man. You're welcome. He's trying to put you on fish. It's all it's me. The, it's the Robert Field experience. Welcome. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. Nice. Mike just looked up right behind me while we were having a little uh, photo shoot with Nick and his fish. We are on them. Jeff has got us on the fish. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're good. I'm gonna do it. Oh, he's <laughs> running, bro. Yeah. So here's like a 60, 80 down right here. It's 80. I'm gonna get down from this place. I see color. Oh, yep. Nice. Keep it down, Lake. I'm gonna keep him laying, okay? Yeah, bring him closer, though. Yeah. Nice. We all got a rally. Nice. Oh, mine's a little one, though. I'm sorry, dude. I have a feeling we're gonna get more. This is pretty yeah, easy right now. Up. Yep. Yanked him up. Whew, yeah, he uh, he ate all of that. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Full commitment. Oh, hang on. Yeah, hold it way out front. Yeah. There you go. It's too there dark. Go. It's going to be bent the other way, too. Hey, man. We each got our Hallies. No, 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 I'm happy. I'm happy. your first Pacific? I'm, absolutely. First Pacific halibut from Mike. Uh -huh. Was that your first Pacific? No. Cool, Nick. Nope. Bragger. Awesome. All right. Uh, He's got our Pacific halibut, so like first drift. First Alaskan Pacific. We're pretty good. So up you guys want to do? You can do two each. I'm gonna go back to Rock Cod, whatever. How you guys type of thing you wanna do? Yeah, I got uh, rheumatoid rheuma arthritis, man. So I got I, I like stay warm. Yeah, no idea. Changing the game. Game changer. All right, so we're moving spots now. We're gonna go jig off the bottom for some rock cod. Or rock fish. Rock fish. Uh, oh, rock cod, rock fish. Same thing. Rock well, fish is a whole group. It's the whole group of fish. Right. Uh, rock cod specifically, the rock fish. They're out. They're out here. Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah. Coming up. Coming up. Coming up. Coming up. Coming up. There it is. There she be. Isn't really. So Nick pulled up Navionics, found a pinnacle right here, and we ran over here. It was a little bit out of the way, but uh, there's a giant underwater mountain right here. We're gonna jig down, see if we can't find some rockfish or whatever else may be down there. I like the look at that. Yeah, man. Soak them up. All right, so what are we dropping down here? Vertical jigs? Yeah. What else? So this is not the perfect knot for this, but sometimes it works. Sometimes it works well. So Jeff, how do you guys typically work in these? Uh, just a short pop. I've been very short, man. Drop it down, pop it up, let it flutter. Oh yeah, good fish on. 
I go for it. I go for it. I don't know what it is yet. Got color. It's a rock leaf. Black. Little oh, blacky. Can I lift this guy or no? No. Uh, here's a grip. Game changer. I need pliers, man. Oh, well. Yeah, you, you can get that out. Oh, these are working well. So what is this? Black cod. Black cod. So there, my first black cod here in Alaska. Not a big guy. How big do they get? Pretty good size, man. 15 pounds. 15 pounds. So this is a poor Small. specimen. Small. Small guy. Okay, hey, that was cool. Got a bite. Uh, we did not really think this was working. The current is ripping. The baits aren't staying down below us. Well, we can't stay on top of them, so cool to get something. Shall this guy go or keep him? Come on, go. Yeah, let him go. Time to go? And no, that's not what yeah, I said. Yeah. I said let him go as well. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, we can go. Whew, nice. Another new species. Checked off the list. We're going to go back to, uh, to Jeff's spot. Current should be a little chiller there. So hopefully we can actually stay and work these baits the way we're supposed to. That's not an accident. They're catching on. There we go. On again. Fish right. down. First draw. We just moved over here a little bit. A few hundred yards. First draw. Pretty sure I got hit on the fog as soon as I started reeling. I was tight. I don't think it's that big. It's raining, but the fish are biting. Oh. It looks like this guy. Those look like, oh, he just shook it right there, bro. <laughs> uh, it's about the same size kind of feel. One of them rock fishes. <laughs> he's on. Keep that. Oh, we're keeping it? Yeah. What is okay. that? Cod. Black cod. Sure. I don't think it's a black cod, but it's a... Oh, it's a black rock fish, though. Yeah. So we don't know what this is, for sure? Cod fish. Pull that up. More name, cod fish. Oh, dude. Oh, no way, dude. How do they know so fast, dude? They're so smart. Okay, throw another fish in the water. They're on. Trading this out. Sure. And Nick's on again. We say it doesn't feel too big. Nah, nothing's crazy. Well, if it's such a little bitch, Nick, where is it at? <laughs> <laughs> Just teasing. Just teasing. Ah, there it is. Oh, oh nice. wow! Yeah, Look at cool. that thing! Look at the yeah, colors on this eye. guy! Red eye, huh? Uh, yep. Yellow eye. Oh, yellow eye, rather. <laughs> Beauty man. So what is this? This is a yellow eye. Take yellow eye rockfish? Yep. Look at the colors on this guy, dude. It barely looks real. Hold on. On. Nice. Nick's hooked oh, up. Oh, we're jigging! I'm so happy! <laughs> I'm so happy I'm jigging in freaking Alaska. I don't even care what's on this. Jigging in Alaska in the right rain. Here, oh, Japanese. wow, that so one's pretty. This? Don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, he came up fast. What is that? What is this thing? It's like a freaking wing. So we just pulled this little one up. We're not really sure what it is. It, I thought it was like a little ling. Looks like a green ling, actually. And we hit it on this little Shimano uh, Inchinku jig, which is uh, called the bottom ship jig. A little squid imitation, just bouncing it up off the bottom. I've been kind of just doing it sporadically. And really, it seems like a lot of times it's just, just sitting there and they're smacking it. You can imagine that thing's dancing in the, in the current. They're loving it. Nick brought these. Clutch. Clutch City. Yep. On the very on, next geez. drop. Same here. You're on oh, too. Yeah, this is a good one. That one looks good, dude. Triple. This is triple a good one, guys. Triple on. Yeah, come on. Come on, Nate. Let's get that triple. This is my best so far. That's your biggest fish so far? Oh god, yeah, look at that. Nice food! Nice, dude! Give me the water, give me the water. Okay. Nick's on. Good fish. Boom. Oh. Look at that cod. Beauty, man. I like that. These guys not good to lift? Oh, yeah, dude. Every drop. <laughs> nice. Now, right there's a pile of fish, boys. On. You're on? On. On. I'm on too. No, I'm on. Oh, look at this one. Not sure what this thing is, but absolutely beautiful. 
baby blue and gray and orange. Kind of burnt orange to brown. Crazy patterns. Let this girl go. You're on again. I'm on. Are you joking? Mike's on. Very next drop. Very next drop. It's nonstop action here. Nice one, bro. Another nice one. On the Inchinku, doing quite nice, I must say. It's doing exactly what I thought it would do here. That's why I brought it. Literally hooking up left and right right now. Good drop. Tripling up. Right. You got a good one? What were you saying about a new species? Look at this thing, bro! Look at her straight on, dude. Those pecs. Ooh -wee. She's sexy. That was a pretty fish. Alaska, man, does not disappoint. This place is outstanding. Fish are here officially. Officially. So much no fish. <laughs> That's a Dolly Varden? Yep. Or, oh, dude, is this a little silver? Nick caught something we never seen before. I thought it was a cabazone at first, but I don't think they range this far north, so some kind of scorpion fish. But I mean, look at those scales on his the top ridge of his body. He's got spots on his eyes. That Wild is a, looking fish. That is a dinosaur right there. Yep. Fish on. Too easy right now. <laughs> you on too? <laughs> I think they're liking the skirted. I'm thinking they're digging it, yeah. Thinking this was the jig. Pretty good. Oh yeah. Decent fish. Look at this guy. I mean, there we go. There it is. Just one after another. These are some good ones. That's a good one right there. You ain't lying, Robert. Yeah. <laughs> Doubled up, tripled up. Just staying hooked up. It's as many as you want right now. Yeah, Felt like a good oh, fish. Is that what it is? Yeah, that's good. Still up. pulling. It was it was tugging in the beginning, digging down hard. It's definitely the strongest fish I've caught since I howled it. Can we stop filming him so we can film me real quick? <laughs> no, bro, I got a monster. <laughs> it's gonna be like a <laughs> an actual fight, lizard time. fish. Oh, the camera. Here, time. Oh, nice, nice fish, dude. Rob. Nice, bro. Good, bro. <laughs> Yeah. yeah! It's like a rock cut, only smaller. Oh, jeez. Let it begin. <laughs> so that is a black cod. They are just, I mean, it's just left and right, one after another. Super fun fish. And uh, they're tasty also. These are going to make fish tacos. All right, Jeff, nice. when we get back to the spot, why don't you get over here? Uh, where is it? It's uh, coming up on the starboard side. Oh, I see it. Right, yeah. We got a chunk of... Basically a little chunk of an iceberg up here, a little glacial ice. I don't know if you can see this, but off in the background, there's some big chunks of ice, big icebergs out there. Pretty good sized chunk of ice, well, actually a pretty small chunk of ice. Well, it's getting bigger now. That remains to be seen, doesn't it? Yeah, just the tip yeah, of the iceberg, yeah, yeah, yeah. eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ice. You get it? Bigger than we had expected. Yeah. Nice. Okay. All right. Piece of cake. Oh, it's heavy. Yeah, yeah. Just give me the, give me the bat. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, oh. There you go. Well done. A little bit of glacier ice. Ice off a of glacier floating here in the narrows. <laughs> We use this for, oh wow. It's definitely winning. The, the, the ice is, uh, the ice is winning against the bat. Wow. He told us it was really hard. Nice. Piece of glacial ice. How cool is that, man? Thousand year old ice. They say it's super clear because of the pressure, compacts all the air bubbles out of it. Nice. Oh, nice. Harvested ice. Careful, guys. Careful, careful. All right, got an ice cube. Wow, got ice for days. A little bit of glacier. Sucking on glacier. What are we doing? We're catching glaciers. <laughs> glacier fishermen on the resume. Yeah. <laughs> Eleven o'clock. Get back in. You can fish that, and then you go fish salmon or put your crab pots or whatever. Ooh, you can do like yeah, five crab. different species. Pull the crab pot on the way home. Yeah. Uh, sure. I'll handle it. Yeah, we don't need to dab.
As we head in with our haul of fish and glacier ice, I can't help but be amazed at just how easy the fishing has been. It's a stark reminder that the reason it's so exceptional here is that Alaska's natural defenses, mainly the inhospitably cold winters, prevent anglers from harvesting the ocean's inhabitants for most of the year. I can't help but wonder what other fisheries might be like with stricter regulations and more resources for stopping poachers. Despite being well under our daily limits, over half the rockfish were sent back to the depths to minimize our impact on this unparalleled fishery. Coming up next episode, we're working to harvest Dungeness crabs and butter clams from right in front of the lodge. Look at them scoring, look at them scoring. <laughs> then we're cooking up a seafood feast, including halibut, rockfish, jack salmon, crabs and clams, and a variety of dishes. Mm. Mm. Just delicious, delicious fish. Delicious. Swimming today.